You got a mic and we got a mic. Okay. So yeah. we could go in there. The hot. Hit that record button. You're on. Already on? Oh my god, I'm already on. You're so on. Chad, right? Yes. How you doing? Tony, we met earlier. Yes, sir. And you're in charge of this room behind us, which we're calling gas blocks, but I believe there's a whole bunch of refrigerant flowing around in there. Yes, right now there's about 24,000 pounds of 1234Z between the two blocks, right? Um, two different blocks, a 1,000 and 3,000 horsepower block, depending on what the size of the compressor is, right? And um, we just set those up and started running. We use those to test just the compressor. So a lot of the work we do back in the gas blocks gets a compressor map to where they're able to write the software and also to gear the tonnage on the chillers. So we're testing just the compressor. Just here. the compressor. And so I got a ton of pipes with refrigerant flowing in and out of the compressor. I've got a great big building that mimics two chillers basically. Okay. And a lot of the piping is geared along AHRI right. um, standards and us for able to take data that is a lot better than what they'll see on a chiller situation because we don't have the losses. And the engineers use that to write the software and, you know, to keep on building more chillers so we can keep moving forward with I love products. it. I love it. Well, it's pretty loud in there, but we're going to walk in there and give it a whirl. Sounds good. Does it sound good? Well, tr true to what Chad just said, let's get out of this noisy area. Let's right. go. I think they made it louder to kick us out. I think so. <laughs> that is really impressive. Yeah, it's, uh, and as, oh. Thank you. Thank you. And Tony, when I think about so Chad said, particularly for a new compressor, we're creating an operating map from scratch. Right, right. We don't know, we have an idea. Some engineering gets us to a point that says, this is where we want to be. Right. But until Chad does his work, we don't know where we are, right? Yeah. So, but just think about knowing the full limits of that compressor. Right. In only three months. I know three months sounds like a, a lawful long time, but that's a lot of data points that you've got to generate yeah. to, to actually create that map. Yeah. So I think in the scheme of things, it's uh, pretty short. So. It's amazing what goes into these. It is. All right. Did we want to do the pump room? Let's do the pump room. And I think part of the I reason like the pump for room. the pump room is we don't make pumps. Right. Right. But we need them. They're yeah. Happy important part of our of moving water through and I think it's just good for people who watch some of your stuff and an educational piece to be able to understand what does a pump room look like particularly for what this building needs right, right. think about all the chillers we just saw and all of those have to have water moving through on both sides right right to be able to move it around just to see how the pumps let's are see it set up so let's go through here 